Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the walking foot. So if you haven't heard of one or maybe you got one with your sewing machine and you have no idea what it's for or maybe you're just too afraid to figure it out like I was for so long. This is the walking foot. So this is how it looks. It's very intimidating. Not like all the other little feet that you got in your sewing kit. There's this arm thingy here, and another thing there, and you would be surprised that maybe you saw this too. This is actually an accessory for the walking foot. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it, and then just give you a little demonstration on how it works and what it's used for. So the first thing you're going to do is remove your current foot. And of course, every machine is different and there are different walking feet as well. But this is where you're going to use your little screwdriver that you got in your sewing kit. And we're going to go in and we are going to unscrew the screw that is holding on your foot. So your foot can, some most feet usually just press that little button, comes off, you slide it out, and then you put your new foot under. But this is the whole mechanism. So you are going to take off that piece that clips onto your foot. And that is where the little screw on the side is. And you're going to take your screwdriver and then unscrew it. So I didn't have to unscrew it very, um, very much, but that is that little mechanism. So we're going to make sure that we keep those two together just so we don't lose. Cause this is very important because I use it the majority of the time. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and then we will bring this guy out. So this is a little bit finicky to put on, but basically, okay, that plastic piece is going to go around the screw and then this arm is going to go through or go around the little pole that, see the screw here that keeps your needle in. So this thing that goes up and down, that's where that longer one's going to go. So you're going to have to get it onto that shank and onto that at the same time. So I'm just going to slide it in, but you're probably going to need to unscrew your screw a little more just to give yourself a little bit more room. And that should slide in fine. And when you're about to slide it in, bring the arm up. And then you should have both on at the same time. And then we're just going to screw it. Make sure it's nice and tight. And you can lower your pressure foot and tighten a little bit more. So here you go. So you can also lift it higher, right, when you use your presser foot. Because there are little teeth under here, and it can catch on your fabric. Well, there's a needle right now, but I'll pull that needle up. Um, there is little feet because it is grabbing your fabric. So the whole idea is that now there are the little feed dogs at the bottom, which are all those little teeth. That's what they're called. They're called the feed dogs. And now this mechanism has its own feed dogs. So now you have, instead of just one set that is pulling your fabric along, now you have two sets simultaneously pulling your fabric. Which is really great because when you are doing something such as quilting, or if you're working with a very slippery fabric and it has a tendency to shift, that is when you would need this foot. So maybe you've done other projects in the past with your regular sewing foot, but you know, and you had a hard time. So you're just like, I'm never doing those projects ever again. Maybe go back to those projects and then try it with your walking foot. And you might be amazed, especially when working with such as, um, if you're making card slots for a wallet, you know, that is a really great thing to go over. But I did, I, I sewed my daughter's quilt top and um, I was having a really hard time with the regular sewing foot 
and then someone just said why don't you use your walking foot and I was like oh so I finally figured it out and now I don't know why I waited so long it was one of those works works in progress you know that I my daughter would be like when's my blanket gonna be done and I'm like so anyways, so we're gonna do a little demonstration. So I just made a pretend quilt sandwich. So it has three different layers. And this is great because, you know, with the layers, even when you pin them, things can still shift. So just like with any other foot, see how I'm going to put my fabric under? It gets a little bit stuck just because of the little teeth. So I'm just gonna lift it up further. And then it can be a little noisy. I'm just going to get it started. So as you can see, the little feed, the little feed dogs are pulling at the top and then they're pulling at the bottom. Mine's a little squeaky. Okay. So what's that little arm for? Well, this little arm is actually, this is actually a, a guide. So let's say you are doing quilting and you wanted to make all of your lines one inch apart. Then you put this little guide on and we're going to put it in through the hole in the back of the mechanism. So you can put it on either side you're just going to place it through the hole and then put it at your desired length. So let's say I want it to be one inch and then make sure that my needle is one inch so it's in the proper position so that it can be one inch. And then also a straight line and then I will move over, line this up with my stitched seam that I already did and then I should have a perfect um, perfectly spaced quilted pattern so let's give it a try so there you have it I didn't snip my threads which I do not recommend but as you can see, those two lines are perfectly parallel to each other, which is pretty neat. Not that line, these two. So I hope you learned a little bit. I hope this made things a little bit less intimidating. And I'm sorry if I'm a little chatty, but I do love talking to my viewers. So. If you like this video and you want to learn about more of the feed that came with your sewing machine, then leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Facebook, all linked below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys!